is here. We're going to hang out for a few minutes and wait for everybody. I do not know what the problem is with the live streaming and why it's always dropping. But um, again, I'm going to have to buy a computer to have more control over that. And that's one of those large expenses that I'm, I'm not down for right now. So we'll see who shows up in chat. Do you see on mine where the new I tell them to move to the, can you tell them to move to the new live stream? I'm talking to Tori. I'm just going to start drawing my aura. My dream thing would be, get, be to get a MacBook so that I could connect it and my iPad and my iPhone all together. That would be awesome. You're muted, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're live now? Yeah. Uh, Dana is here. Lisa is here. Okay. I've got 19 in here now. There we go. Ah, Charo. Hola. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Angela. Woohoo! I think we're got, getting everybody going here. Okay. Thank you, sweet girl. Are you getting in the live stream now? Or my current live stream? Yeah, I think we're... Oh, you have to go out of the last one and pick up the new one, which has no... Um, doesn't have a good um, thumbnail on it. Yeah, I'm just watching. keep... Uh, just keep refreshing it. Okay. Well, there should be a new one there. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you guys found me somehow. Does Tori tangle too? The question to the answer to that is we are working on that. We have to have Tori and time and no children for this to be effective. And that is a difficult combination of things to have happen. But I, I completely expect for the first time Tori experiences this for her to love it. She's a very creative person. And uh, I think she thinks she can't draw, but I think if she tried it, she'd be really good at it. So that's, that's the answer to that question. But she has got a toddler hanging off both arms most of the times. And uh, getting away from them long enough to have a peaceful drawing session is nearly impossible. She has enough trouble getting, getting away to go to work. So that's tough. She needs a nanny who's free and she trusts them. <laughs> anybody know anybody like that who's not going to charge us but but is trustworthy. Yeah, me neither. Except for me. All right. There. Okay. Hopefully everybody made it back over. Yes. Yes. Cindy. Yes. Angela. What's up? Sorry. I don't know how to see all of the, the chat. I can tell you. Oh, okay. Um, Somebody wanted something. They were all talking. Good luck with that, Cindy. She will be addicted. Weird. I <laughs> just got a notice now, and it's almost done. <clears throat> I got a new notification for the second one from Debbie. Allison said, uh, Leela, check your settings. Leela <laughs> said the screen is blurry. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Blurry screen. Okay, that I can fix. Susan said, I can't draw, but I can zentangle. <laughs> That's a good, that is a good definition. Debbie said, version two. All right. Dana said, gosh, I wish I lived closer. I would babysit. Oh, me too. I wish you would. Angela said, Tori table two. It's like one of Mari's tongue twisters. <laughs> Marlon said, I agree, Susan. Angela said, Cindy. Yes, Angela. That's that's where I was. I was like, what what is up? 
Okay, so I didn't hear any questions in there. So, oh, maybe that was about the blurry. I'll try to keep my hand out. Um, I sent a request to the group. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. I'll, uh, I'll go do that as soon as I'm done here, okay? All right, the next step is we're gonna draw an extra aura on this, but we're gonna make this aura far away. Not, not too far away, but a little far away, okay? Like about this. Carlito said Cindy Wren is not happy because she was winning at Alphabet Tangle. Aww. Sorry about that, Wren. Leela said, oh, wow, what a difference, thanks. All right, I'll try to stay out from under the camera. It's really hard, though, I tell you. Lisa said there's a top chat and all the chat slider under video. Yes, there's also, once the video, once um, this becomes a video, there is also a button under there that says uh, replay live chat. Nancy says, Cindy, I sent a request to the group. You just got to okay me. Okay, Nance. I gotcha. Ren said, my screen is blurry when I use Google Browser and not blurry when I use Explorer. Oh, really? Isn't that weird since YouTube is Google? Dana said, still checking into the trombone, Cindy, seeing if it needs any repairs. Thank you. Well, if it does, I will be happy to pay for them. Nancy said she's so sorry. She was more available yesterday. She was driving to Branson. No, you're you're all good, girl. You're all good. I've had my hands full with the little guy. Not so little guy. I guess they are ordering shirts for something, and I and I had them order an adult small for him today. What happened to my tiny little man? I don't know. He he took something this year and just decided to grow. Full fledged. They're all um, explaining how to make it unblurry yourself. Okay, good. All right, guys. Hopefully, I'm unblurry. Let me make sure. Yeah. Uh, Ren says she's not getting sound, and Angela said, Cindy, I sent you a message on IG about meeting up. Okay. Thank you, Angela. All right. So, once we get here, what Maria suggests is um, drawing these lines to connect these two auras in each one of these sort of natural places where they dip down. Yeah. Isn't this cool? Ren said, now I'm not getting sound. Angela said, let's see. Carlito said, Ren, no sound. Angela said, Toss in Springfield. Ren said she got it now. Yeah, I did see your message about Springfield. And that that's absolutely possible. Dana said, her son went from size 10 shoe straight to 16. <gasps> Stop growing. Oh my God, don't say that. Because he went from size like sevens to size 10 and a half wides. Holy cow. If he goes from 10 and a half wide to 16, we'll never keep him in shoes, especially if they're 16 wides. Ren has got it now, sorry. Good deal. Hopefully we're not working your heart rate up. No, but it was telling me to stand up, but I think I've done enough at work this morning. <laughs> yeah, I think you got your 400 steps or however many you're supposed to have. For a brief moment, as well as I ran and walked for a little while. Oops. Slow down. I'm not going to sing today. Do, 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 do. Nope, not going to sing Simon and Garfunkel. Okay, isn't this cool looking? Right? All right, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go to each one of these spots and give this a uh, good inking here so I've got a nice little round spot here. Dana loves this tangle. It's a wonderful tangle, isn't it? And I loved doing Maria's um, alternate version of this um, that lay leaves out all of these internal petals. And I loved that and it reminded me how much I like this tangle. I, I liked the we woven quality of this right from the beginning. It's another one of those tangles I liked when I first started tangling. Uh, Nancy said, sing it, Cindy. Allison said, <laughs> um, 
Carla should be the little dot at the top of the video on the phone. Uh. Carlito said, size 16 shoe? I thought that's massive, but it's different in other countries. I thought he'd have to go to the circus to get shoes <laughs> only available in red. Nice. I like it. Hopefully, and I doubt Mari will wear red shoes, but, but if he thinks they look like Jay's, he might. Mm. Angela says she has kitty help. Uh-oh, that means the cat is trying to get on her lap and help her draw. Mm -hmm. All right, so my next step is to add some of these little hatch lines on these narrow petals. And what I'm going to do is go through this in the same direction one way and then turn it turn the tile and go the other direction the same way you'll, you'll see what i mean that way i'm doing them all from the same hand position and remember these are those little flicks where you start with a heavier pressure and leave your pressure off as you come off it's just a little flick And you have to take your time. I think I just skipped something, but. All right. No, I didn't mean to do this, but it's all right. It's going to work out. I'm debating if I should run and get some food real quick. Why don't you do that? Why don't you go get some food, and I will see you when you get back. She's coming to work on her shirts. Ooh, yay. Be safe. All right, so now I'm going to go up these middle ones. And that's one reason why I wasn't too concerned about... Um, any stray lines down here because they're all going to be obscured by this hatching. And I'm not going to go all the way, just a little bit at the edge. It's going to enhance that feeling of this being pushed down. Sort of looks like a, a button tufted fabric or something. All right. And as you go, you're going to find that you run into sections where you've already done the hatching. And that's what I mean by <laughs> not making any sense. That's what I mean. All right. Is anybody yelling at me? Nope. Okay. Woo. I am, I am doing it hard today. Yeah. Well, it can't be me. I'm not changing anything and my hand's not not upsetting the camera. I don't think. Oh, I'm thinking about taking Mari's phone away. Things always constantly going off. All right, here. Where did I miss? There we go. Okay.
Just a couple more, I think. And this gives it sort of a tufted look. That's a fabric term, isn't it? Tufted. All right. Um, many blessings today to all my friends and people I care about in India. Please be safe. God bless. I need to check in with my friend Aish from the Tangle and Inspire channel here on YouTube. Once you've, whoops, I forgot one here, several. Oh, I missed a whole row. Or a column, or triangular square. More circular rectangles. Whatever kind of weird shapes we've got today. They're all polygons to me. <laughs> Where's Roseanne when I need her to laugh? All right. Okay, now, <clears throat> at this point, this is where I switched over to my colored pencil, which is probably what I'm going to do right now, okay? You can, oh, wait, I forgot the inking, okay? In these, in these little interstices, in these little free spaces here, you can put in um, little orbs like I did, and I wasn't able to fit very many in very many places. Um, you can ink it all. You can uh, put orbs in it all. You can do whatever you want to, okay? I like the inking because it brings a lot of drama, brings a lot, of, a lot more visual interest and um, boldness. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, see where I get. And I think this time, since that worked really well, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and ink all of these interstices and then come back through with my gel pen and, and make any orbs I want to do over that. And I'm going to try like heck not to get onto this line. Although I was tempted to do that, those, uh, go over those in gold, and I'm still tempted to do that. I just haven't decided. And that's again one of those steps that if you take it, it can't be undone.
you just want to be careful that you don't mess up when you're inking that you don't mess up this line because that will that will ruin the um visual trick that we're trying to play that this top one is um transparent we don't want to do that You could also uh, use graphite in the uh, in the background here to make a difference without doing the inking if you wanted to save yourself that trouble. That would work. You could also use colored pencils or watercolor. People are cussing in chat. They're saying, what the well? You know that's my favorite cuss word now, right? <laughs> I need to message Jody and tell her I have completely subverted her her name, the name of her pattern for my own uses. Mm. I just love it. She is so clever. What the well? You know, I can see what Maria means about the inking becoming part of your zen. I think the reason that these don't frustrate me is that they're all pretty small. And so I always have that, that feeling of accomplishment on a regular basis that, oh, I finished one. I'm like that and everything. I, I, I hate the waiting. <laughs> Just let's get to it. Zenders, you have accomplished what no other could do. Made me get back on Facebook. I just want you to know I love you anyway. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I don't mind. I guess, I guess it'll be okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just behave yourselves. That's all I'm asking. I don't like being mean. I don't like people kicking people out of things. But I will. <laughs> Wait, what? Who? What? How are you guys doing that with the colors? Yeah, I'm okay. I am. Uh, it's probably allergies. I'm already trying to decide what pattern to do for day 101. I'm going to have to have something epically good. I need to talk Sarah into her other pattern that hasn't been published yet. <laughs> that would be so mean. Man, if I could get it before everybody else, that would be awesome. Need something good. Tell me something good. All right, I'll stop. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. Oh, yeah, I was inking, wasn't I? <laughs> I'm trying, people. I'm trying.
Bye, Dana. Have fun at your second job. I remember when I used to work three jobs. I was tired all the time then. Of course, I'm still tired all the time. So I'm not sure it matters. <laughs> Go ahead and work. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. As soon as I figured out when I was a teenager that I could work and make my own money, I was all over that. That whole fierce independent streak. I suspect there are a bunch of you guys out there that have that. A lot of you. All right, what did I miss? So I kind of like that all inked. That's pretty cool looking. I might leave that. I might add orbs. I don't know. Got to see my grandbabies last night for a few minutes, about 30 minutes. They came and jumped on the trampoline. Showed off their cute curls. So I have a question. I'm not naming any names, not saying anything about anybody specific. I'm just saying. I just want a general question I want you guys to tell me. So imagine you're a grandparent, right? And your grandchild comes over to spend the weekend with you, okay? And they desperately need a haircut. And they have never had a haircut before. Do you cut their hair? Let me know in comments. Do you cut their hair? No. Yes. Eve Marie says yes. Okay. No, no, no. This is a great poll. Okay. So if you, okay, good point, Carla Jo. Carla Jo says only if the mom says yes. So if you would consider cutting it, would you do it without saying anything to the mom? Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. And if this if this child's first very first haircut. Javion, you know, with the curly hair, came home from grandma's about three inches off of his hair. Nobody said a word to her. And the funny part is she had she had been wanting to cut it, but had resisted because the kiddo's father did not want that to happen. And so she gets him back and three inches are gone off his head. I was horrified. I was horrified. I would never ever. I mean, depending on the relationship and all that, I mean, there are, there are different there are different situations where I might I might consider that, but no. They don't live with the grandma. They don't have that much to do with the grandma. And I I just was stunned. I mean, <laughs> Oh, the fact that I'm still thinking about it today. Oh, my goodness. She's trying not to be mad, but oh, my goodness. I just think that's terrible. I mean, talking about overstepping your bounds. I mean, I mean, I... I am very close to both Tori and the kids, and I would never, ever 
ever consider doing that? Who's here, Simba? Who is here, Simba? Is that Tori? Oh, hopefully she won't be mad at me for talking about it. So, by overwhelming consent... Did you? Yeah. Everybody thinks that, that the haircut was, was a terrible idea, and nobody would have done that. Jay's hair. Everything I so I ask him. So just want to know, you know, would you cut your grandchild's hair? No. Everybody said no. A few yeses, and I said, okay. Would you do it without saying anything to the mom? Oh my God, no. <laughs> I said something to him too yesterday, Jordan, and he was like, he was like, it's only like an inch or two. I'm like, no, it's three inches to be exact because I do this. Okay. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, oh, that's that's some good cake. Sweet, Tres Leche says yummy. You sure? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I had a sandwich. I've still got another half of one. I don't care how long ago was it. Uh, not that long. Okay. I would never lie, baby girl. I got home and I'm like, grab my fork. It eventually got thrown out. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, drive back over with the boys. Like, oh, I didn't blame you. Drive, I'm sorry. I would have been like, Mari's five bucks. Bring me that cake. I forgot it was, I w it was in there. It was sitting on the counter. Uh, well, I set it by myself and then grabbed everything but that. I'm sorry, sweetie. That is okay. I bought a trip. That's actually, that's actually a dangerous thing is to leave cake over here with me. <laughs> Angela said, did you bring enough for everyone? She got some tres leches. That is a Spanish, that is a, is that Mexican? It's a milk cake. I know what it is. It's extremely moist and delicious. Oh, I thought you were looking for them. But I was, I was wondering, I was trying to figure out if that's specifically Mexican, if, if that's, it's Mexican, so that's delicious kind of cake. It's extremely moist, made from milk. Leches is milk. I probably have people in the audience that know better than me. I should let them talk. Chato, are you still here? Speak to me. What country is Chato from? Are you still here? Are you still here? All right. Home stretch, guys. Home stretch. This is what you're missing out on, real quick. This place is down the street from you. It is two minutes. Which what, which place is that? El Polo Chulo. That's uh, Nima's dad's place. I thought yeah. he was selling it. No, these two ladies run it. Oh, I thought somebody told me he was selling it. No. Well, that's good to know. It is the most delicious. Mmm. Not while I'm not one. I better uh, save me a piece though. Okay. Simba will be happy to try that for me. I know I had to take my food with me to the kitchen. I didn't trust you. <laughs> no, I believe you. You should do that. Even in the bag with the bag closed. <laughs> Sim Simba will flat snatch that, and you know who's worse than Simba is a little bit. He is an absolute saint compared to her. When you said day 101, <laughs> Marion, well, I said there were going to be more than 100 days this year. So there's going to be a day 101 this year because there will not just be 100 days. 
I'm going to see how many days we can have this year. I'm betting we can hit about 300 days this year. It's kind of what I'm shooting for, 300 days. I'm going to call it the year of Zentangle. See how it goes. I don't promise I won't collapse in the middle and say uncle. But that's what we're going for. Now, we not, we're not going to be live streaming all the time, and it probably won't be every single day, but um, definitely going to get some days in. So y'all don't go anywhere. When we get done, we're gonna do something else. I have some fun stuff that I wanna try out. I really want to um, try, see if you guys like making those, um, oh, what am I thinking about? What are all those? Flex tangles. Those are fun because I like those because you can display them easily. By the way, I looked up frames at Walmart um, yesterday and they have great deals on those little four by four frames. So if you guys are looking for frames for your Zentangle art, uh, you should check walmart.com or your local Walmart store because it seems to seems that they have a lot of them. Maybe they have figured out that Zentangle artists will buy those. I mean, they're not wood or anything, they're just plastic, but still, they work. The, the front is glass for sure. I kind of like this with this all inked in the way it is. Charo, uh, where are you from? I don't know. I know donde esta. I don't know anything else. Where are you from? Uh, if only I had a picture I could show you ready of flex tangles. Flex tangles are like those little paper things we used to make at school where we used to write um, words on the insides and you had to... Um, uh, push them back and forth and back and forth and they'd have words written on them and you'd unload it or you'd unwrap it and there'd be messages in there. Um, it's, it's based on that, but instead of messages, then uh, you draw tangles on there. And I have a picture of the last version that I did. Unfortunately, Simba ate it. Both of them, actually. I had two. And they are so much fun to do. Now, some of you might need an extra set of hands because uh, I almost did. It's it's not easy, but some people use double side tape, sided tape on them, and it was pretty easy. But um, yeah, I just used a cheap, flimsy cardstock for it, and yeah, it turned out great. And I loved the way it looked. And first, I thought kids kids thing, no. I did mine on, um, what did I do mine on? Uh, tan cardstock. And uh, it was it was gorgeous. I drew in browns and sepias and black. And um, the tangling looked great. And I was able to add like jelly roll here and there and, and that kind of thing. And uh, I managed to figure out how to tangle from section to section so that when you opened them up, the sections matched. And so that was kind of cool. And so uh, I would love to do one of those with you guys because I think, I think this crew would really enjoy that. Uh, but we're not there yet. we still got another week and a half or so to go. But you might want to source some cheap, flimsy cardstock that will that would bend and fold easily. 
and, and that would be thin enough to run through your inkjet printer so that you can print out the template. All right. Okay, so at this point, I am going to switch my ink pen and go to my um, colored pencil. All right. So uh, what, this is my luminance um, colored pencil in that uh, perylene brown. And uh, I really loved the color gradients I got. This is almost, this is reddish, brownish, pinkish, and it's a great blend. So what I did was just chose a side, whichever side I wanted. And this will work with any type of colored pencil, but this is what I'm using. And I decided the side that I was going to shade on. So I'm basically putting my dark color in the tips of these. And I'm putting a shade right next to this uh, overlaying part on one side. And, you know, a picture paints a th Okay. Just roll with me, guys. Roll with me. Want that colored pencil on the same side. And then as dark as you can make it in there in the middles. Now, I'm going to use blending solution on mine, but you can, of course, use the, the blenders that come with colored pencils, or um, you can use any number of other methods. I think I did a video last year where I had, just be careful, don't turn your tile and shift your the side that you put this on. You want that to be consistent. Uh, but I think I did a colored pencil uh, blending tutorial, I think last year in one of my videos. I just don't remember which one. You know, after, after you've done a couple hundred, <laughs> you just start going stupid in the head. And I guess we're almost at the 300 mark, and I already had about 50 uploaded. So I should be closing in on 400 videos on YouTube. That's a lot of videos. A lot of videos. All right. And I still want to do that uh, journal cover, too, which I loved. If you feel like you didn't get your ink dark enough, you can always add your colored pencil there, whatever shade you pick. It should blend pretty well with the brown. Oops, don't turn your tile, Cindy. You will definitely get confused. You might wonder how I know that. I've met myself, that's how. Two more. Oh. Um, I better lift this out while I'm while I'm here. If you get on your lines, that's the only problem with a colored pencil. So once it's down there, it's hard to pull out. Well, again, I've been thinking about putting gold on those anyway, so. I don't know that we will get that far. We are running out of time.
What about doing zines? Uh, she's talking about the zine project I did last year when I was doing the Dingbats series. Um, zines. We could definitely do zines. We could do Zentacle zines. Zin zines. <laughs> now I'm just being silly. But um, that would actually be fun. We could definitely do that. A uh, way to just use, you know, again, cheap cardstock or whatever you've got on hand, craft paper, whatever it is, will work for that. Okay, so uh, the last thing I'm going to do now, Maria Thomas on hers uh, with the similar border, what she did was she colored in every other one. What I did on this one was I colored uh, my end edges and then highlighted the middle so you can handle yours however you like, right? And then the last step, I'm gonna leave that and show you the last step, um, is going to be adding your gold jelly roll. Now, uh, in the, her video, Maria Thomas used a gold kind of gold paint that you could really uh, sort of uh, glop on there and make it look really beautiful and thick. And, um, but I don't mind this gold jelly roll. It really has the ability to put down a lot. It really flows on. Let me zoom. Hopefully you can see it. It flows on beautifully. It's really thick. Now this paper is really porous. So given time, it's going to sink in. And so I frequently when I'm using the gold jelly roll, I will frequently let it dry. And then I will come back in once it's dry and go over and put a second, um, a second layer on there. And you see how much ink is actually put down there by how I can move this around, right? Now you actually don't wanna play in it too much. You don't want it to dry weird, like this is going to. But that's a, that's a lot of ink right there. Now this is just like your white jelly roll in that you want it to dry and sometimes you need multiple layers, okay? Another tip is that once you're finished, you may want to take your brown pen and go around the outside edge of these where you may have gotten gold on the line so that your line remains nice and bold and, and pure, if you will. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Ouch. All right. So then the last thing I'm going to do is take this around here. Now, these are ink pools that I'm putting Jelly Roll on top of. And these definitely need more than one coat. Sorry, I got in front of the camera. There we go. Now, uh, this will work if you use just regular um, alcohol but uh, I prefer to use blending solution uh, on my gems or colored pencil blending. And I had it right here and now 
There it is. And you really need a dedicated tortillon for this. What I'm using is a uh, Gamsol, and this is just a brand name. It is 100% um, pure odor odorless mineral spirits, okay? Aquaras Mineral, I don't know, per percent pure, see, yeah. You, you guys that understand Spanish do much better than me. So all I'm gonna do is tip my semi-clean tortillon in here. Semi-clean, because I used it for this before. And then I'm just gonna blend some of this out. And this um, wetness is gonna fade away as soon as it dries. It fades, it dries uh, clear. And you're gonna have your pencil color unlocked. You're gonna be able to blend it out beautifully. Now you will come to a point with your tortillon where it just cannot accept any more wax or oil or whatever binding agent is in the pencils that you're using. I believe these are maybe oil-based, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. So if they were oil-based, that would be similar to Polychromos by Faber-Castell. I didn't get much difference there, but that's okay. And all this does is unlock the pigment and allow you to blend this really smoothly, right? And uh, once this is dry, you won't be able to see that anymore. I can tell the dogs are beg begging Tori for scraps. All right, guys. <laughs> I think this is where I'm going to leave you today. I think you guys get the get the general idea. Here is my example again and what I'm considering is on this one is adding gold to these little things. Like in that spot where I got colored pencil or the, where I've got too thin a line here, that might be a good deal. I could also use a uh, jelly roll on that. And then of course with the white charcoal pencil um, where you have uh, left your um, highlighted spots, then you come in there, really lighten those up. And also on these in the middle and here in these underneath sections, I leave this part dark and then just add a hint of highlight right there, right? So a little bit in that, in that middle section and a little bit over here. Yeah? Apparently I've got some spots to add it to. There we go. But you guys know what I mean. All right. So I am gonna need to call it a day. We're gonna be working on some Zender shirts for you guys. Yay! And having some fun. All right. Uh, I'm going to let you guys continue to chat if you want to, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Now, one of these days, there is going to be a video instead of a live stream, but don't let that upset you. Whatever it is, they will hopefully be out at the same time each day. All right. Mwah. Much love from Oklahoma. Hi to everybody all around the world. We love you. Be safe. Keep away. If Mari were here, he'd say, stay, stay safe and don't get COVID. That's my boy. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video if you did. And thanks for being here. And uh, if Allison has a tangle problem, I have a tangle solution for you. <laughs> get in touch with me, Allison. All right, guys. I'm going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>